Yo, yo, it's ODB from OLP. This is issue 91 of Mini Trucking Magazine, July of 99. Classic Mazda cover truck that is still around. We saw it at Mini Nats this year. This is Donnie Babs 93 Mazda, known as Dogwood. We, we'll talk more about this. We were able to um, confirm who shot the cover because this issue did not provide those details. This was Latest Craze Club. It was their one cover, which is awesome. And this is one of six cover trucks with Nietzsche wheels, but this is the second. The first was April 99. The last, I believe, if I remember correctly, was Joey. Joey Dilworth now owns it, but Relax Taco Juno 7 cover. Those, uh, I think at the time, had Nietzsche wheels on it. But uh, enough of that. Let's go ahead and jump right into this issue. And what you're going to see here is the minis, plenty of features in this one, including Beachin, which is West Palm Beach, Florida. That was a guy that unfortunately is no longer with us. Rest in peace, Bruce Rivera. We'll see that in here. You've got tech, you have events, and you see plenty of good stuff going on. Again, more sport compact cars. Here we can see uh, we find the year. It's a 93 Mazda, Donnie Babb. Of course, he was up in Indy, so shout out to Buley Body Works. You see that there as well, and uh, just a really awesome truck. Always really digged uh, this cover. And you can see here, when we went up to, a buddy of mine and I, we went up to Indy Truck Bash 0102, right around there. And uh, man, there were so many cornfields up in that area, it seemed like. That's something I always remember. But uh, yeah, like I said, let's jump in this issue. If you're new here, please subscribe. We appreciate it. Uh, here we can see the editorial. We got Lance and we have Mike Self was kind of introduced. And Mike has long been tied, you know, since this era. This is, you know, July 99. Mike Self has long been tied to the magazines. I still, I believe he's still in the industry. You can see here, editor Lance. We talked about that recently. Randall Jackman, Tom Lute, some of the names, of course, you see there contributing writers, photographers, names that were uh, synonymous, still in the industry today in, in some cases. Uh, I want to talk more about this truck in the future, this uh, Ford Ranger. I recently had stumbled across the sport truck that it was on the cover of. I don't really think that one gets the credit it deserves. I was looking back at some old photos. Uh, pretty cool. We'll talk about that in the future, but... Image is everything, so a real clean Tacoma. This was Mike Leonard's truck, and uh, super clean. Nice stance, graphics. I'm ro I'm digging it. I'm rocking with it. It's got the Neptune concept Neeper wheels. Yeah, like I said, I always say this. If, uh, if you like what we're doing here, definitely... Uh, check out OLP via most podcast apps. You'd be able to find us, or you can search our lifestyle podcast uh, dot com uh, in your browser and uh, check out ways to listen there. So here is a bigger photo of that S ten that we continued to see, and here is five six two, which I believe was a uh, wheel company, and this wing nut wheel, super clean. I always dug this wheel. Um, I thought it was a pretty cool wheel. And uh, you can see the shaved fender there. Again, just kind of different on these trucks because you had to cut the grill and it just it just looked a little bit different. I know I've hit, hit that many times. I'll leave a comment if you can, if you see something in here that uh, you remember or someone in show coverage, you know, tag, you know, say, hey, at 22, blah, blah, blah. I know some guys have done that and I appreciate that. I think we recently come across the breezer window. That one's a little different here. It's got the... The little um, cab visor deal, a little bit different, but you know that that was always kind of their marketing there. Someone kind of putting their hand through it, so you could see, yeah, there's no window there once you put the breezer in or pop it out. We're getting closer to the holidays, so hope you guys definitely enjoy the holidays with the fam. Here is Total Recall. So a couple of these Rangers, I kind of get, um, you know, they blend together in my head. But this one, if you take a look here, they do reinforce November 97. This was the lethal injection. And 
David Zimmerman, Germantown, Ohio. So shout out to the guys in the Midwest there. Uh, this truck is uh, super clean, came back, redid a bunch of stuff. And, uh, of course, Jody, you know, you think Ford Ranger of this era, and Jody Hall's name's right here. Of course, we recently had Tim Williams on that worked at uh, the drop shop in Pikeville. And if you want to go back and check out that episode, it's pretty cool. He remembered a lot of trucks from that era. Here you got Last Look, covering the life and times of Dion's Yellow 86 Yoda. Video contains never before seen footage. Pretty cool stuff there. But uh, definitely those Rangers. There's a, there's a few that sometimes I, I have a hard time remember which one's which, but that one was cool because it always points out, boom, that it was the lethal injection truck. Uh, here's With Pleasure. And this was Dwayne Virgil of Missouri. You see the Missouri plate here. That was like that factory roll plan I think I had on my S10. Very similar, if not the same. Centerline wheels, which are super popular in that era. The Phantom Grill, like you said, like I've said before, you can kind of see where on those S10s where you had to cut, you see the the four little, you know, one and one, and then the two over there. But still super clean. I dig it. Uh, if you like what we're doing here, I would say also check out my Lincoln podcast, Lincoln Addict. If you ever, um, if you're just intrigued by Lincolns, or um, maybe you want to own one one day, I do a podcast on that stuff. And um, I just made a trip over to the east coast of Florida, so more to come on that. I think it'll be pretty cool to to share some of that on the podcast as well. Kind of hinted last week that I had something that I was planning to do this past weekend, and that all worked out. That was actually on Saturday. Here's MIC, Master Image Customs, with a tech article. Bill Thompson, his name was synonymous with the mag, especially doing the Wired segment. So here you can, you can see, um, this is I think this is exactly the cover shot right here. And if we flip back, it was like a close-up there. So you can kind of see um, the little bit of the gravel. That's that same shot. Um, again, with this one, super clean truck. I mean, this thing has stood the test of time. I posted a video of this truck when I was at Indy. It was cruising by. My buddy Russ and I took the, those videos, you know, walking around. And this is one of those trucks that literally as far as I could tell, has always remained about the same. It hasn't changed a lot, which which I love. And um, it's, uh, apologize, the Dane dog's barking in the background. But this truck you can see here, it hasn't changed a lot, which I, I appreciate. But also, for 20 plus years, he's continued to bring this thing out. So this truck is probably 25 years old in terms of a build, which is awesome. You can see here they kind of carried through uh, some of the colors and the graphics and stuff. I loved when they do that. Um, usually of said truck. And you can see where it says photography by the main truck and staff. I did reach out at one point to Donnie. Shout out to Donnie. And uh, he confirmed that Clint Walker shot it, but Courtney did assist. So, you know, technically they would both get credit for the cover in terms of, uh, in my mind. Uh, definitely a huge shout out to Carrie and Randy Buley at Buley's Body Works. I mean, again, you think about a truck that was built all those years ago and still could go and and, and just really uh, kill it at a, at a, at a uh, show. Super clean. I always thought it was, it, was, it was highly customized, but not overly done. Interior was awesome. I always loved how the, the seats, you know, they even went and did some of the flame stuff there behind the seat you know you got all the the brackets painted color matched uh just the little details on this thing freaking awesome i can stand and look at this truck a good bit we're on page 35 of course it's continued on 38 that would often be what magazines would do because you know you basically get an ad in there and then of course this was the era as i've said we're still not all color so you flip over and you kind of finish out the feature in black and white which was of the time. You got some nice kick panels. Super clean interior, like I said. You can even see there. 
working like a compass and eyeball sunken into the center console. Pretty cool stuff. Over here you have KMC wheel add. So again, I, I want to say someone might know that 562 was it? I think that was a division of KMC because again, you see the S10 here with different wheels on it. I want to say they were, you know, sister companies maybe, but, uh, you know, because of the explosion of uh, mini trucks. One thing I did not notice at mini nets this year is if he still has the same CD player in it. Check that thing out. The old school Alpine with green. Uh, speaking of mini nats, we'll be out there again this April. Uh, you'd have to be sleeping under a rock not to know, but please come out to Maggie Valley April. Get a room, or if you're close enough to drive home, you know, each day, come on out. It's going to be another awesome show. Uh, here is Mid-Ohio Summer Slam, so lots of show coverage. And again, some of these Rangers, I can't always rattle off which ones became the other ones, but I do remember looking at these um, in show coverage, you know, and, and just looking at all the awesome trucks out there. Some uh, wires. This Ford Ranger was around a while. Lower than you. An, an Amigo. Plenty of good stuff. Here is stretching it. So you have an Astro. It's kind of more full stereo. Pretty cool stuff. Very rare to see zero windows except for the two main side windows. That's certainly, check out the old school equipment. The TV though. But it's certainly rare to see uh, no windows at all except for those front two windows. Uh, you imagine trying to drive that thing. Now, of course, if you got full stereo in it anyways, you're not going to need to see out the back window necessarily. Probably maybe going to be on a trailer, but still pretty crazy. Rescue 911. So long um, running tech articles. You could do those all day on kind of paint tech. The Miracle Don't Call It a Comeback. This was Jeff Roberts truck out of Cali and you see here just how super clean this you know if you had a full-blown show truck that's what you had you know you had a super clean interior like that you really can't see I mean they did everything all the way up there I don't know if that's a part of the alarm or something but um really clean and then you had those billet those were made I think for a while you could get those and then you got the engine cover deal all graphics I guess you could kind of say wheel tub cover deals. Super clean, some JL audio graphics. I mean, a really, really nice truck. Well deserving of a feature. Here you can see the bright ideas, not on the back cover, but more on the inside. This was an RA truck. You can see there the relaxed atmosphere logo. And uh, definitely awesome. I know these videos tend to go a little bit long. We definitely appreciate it, uh, those that hang through with us. Uh, our minute watched continues, or minutes or hours and minutes watched, whatever. They continue to, to rise, which is fantastic. I know a lot of you guys are watching these through, so thank you. Uh, but just something about being able to, to hit that mark, you know, hit that goal of 4,000 hours watched and um, be able to start monetizing. You know, it'll give us, give me some more motivation just to kind of get out there and do some different kind of videos. I'm working on uh, lining up some features in and around this area. So I think that's going to be cool as well. So here's Beechin. Uh, this was Bruce Rivera's uh, truck. And this one always kind of threw me off because I don't know. It says when Omar Rodriguez of West Palm Beach, Florida decided to dive into the custom scene, the truck driver, and I believe maybe Bruce bought it from him. I, I always thought this was Bruce's and maybe I'm wrong. So if I am, you guys can kind of chime in on this. But um, I know it's local minis. I know Bruce was in local minis. And I might be thinking maybe Bruce ended up with this or maybe it was a totally different truck. I don't know. But regardless, you see Beechin. This truck, I remember seeing it at a show. It might be the one that became downtime. Uh, maybe that's where I'm kind of merging some of my, my stories. But uh, you could see here the contrast and the colors I thought worked out nicely. These Isuzus were super popular, super stiff competition in the, the state of Florida. 
and of course uh, local minis long-standing club i think there's a maybe a couple people left uh, a couple members left i know jason redden out there still representing them i believe so here you go matt matt's mazda this was a super huge part again like i've said before of the magazine here's steve lewis's shiny sucks you can see alter images a lot of guys are running that logo showing some support out to alter uh steve nielsen was just out in florida but he was in miami i guess he was doing one of his commissions he drove all the way there uh some maybe hotel in miami or something he was doing and uh wish i would have been able to link up with him but i think he was like working around the clock and then when they peeled out they did stop and meet chad luke i think uh out his way but uh miami's a far drive from where i'm at um, so, yep. You can see here kind of the battle of the imports, which they hinted on the cover. And if you recall from these flip throughs, I mean, they, for, for this, this era, they definitely covered, I think pretty well, these battle of the imports. It seemed like it was, you know, every other issue, but you know, we're kind of flying through these though. So you got to think, you know, these were monthly and, you know, once a year it seemed like it kind of came pretty quick. The second annual images 9-8. So you see the Nevada plate there. And uh, here's what I always liked. The show coverage. So you can see the Astro. Some killer trucks. Uh, I have slowed down on these a little bit. But as you guys have seen, I've sprinkled in a little bit of content for some trucking features. And just trying to mix it up because... Uh, if you didn't know, um, you know, it's hard to get people to watch these videos all the way through. Cause you know, a lot of us, we have our short attention span. So I passed fantasy of flight yesterday and I was talking to my buddy, Kirk. He's in no regret. Shout out to Kirk. And I was telling him back in the day, they had a show at fantasy of flight, Jason Danler's Izuzu. I think I recently talked about that. You can see here Rob Scepter, rest in peace. There is his Izuzu before it was redone. Um, we're going to see more of that. Here's Randy, bow to NC on Instagram. Randy Frederick, our friend uh, that built this truck, also body dropped this truck. Matt, shout out to Matt. He probably even did more to that. I can't remember, but I know he bodied it. And um, the there's Rob's truck right there. Look how good it looked with that suicide door popped and the, the shave front corners. Just a super clean. I mean, that if somebody could build one in this version, it would just be sick. But uh, rest in peace, Rob. But Fantasy of Flight, good old Joe Greaves would always cover that one. And we literally passed that on I-4. Yesterday, I couldn't believe the drive uh, on I-4 to Edgewater, Florida was was great. Uh, but but we did hit some traffic going there in Lakeland and coming back, of course, to Disney traffic. So notable quotables. Top five strangest mods seen at recent shows. Those are always fun. You can read those. What's in the CD changer? Some Buster Rhymes. I used one of those songs the other day. When I use uh, songs for reels, I do try to pick maybe a year that the truck was on the cover or maybe a, a song from the um from the year that the truck was built you know I, I do put some thought into that okay so correct me if i'm wrong i guess i never thought about this until i said this recently mt graffiti so many truck and graffiti i believe that was that's what lance started that looks like ruben's truck right there with the ladies lower than hell you saw there on the logo there's a dope group photo everyone getting down this is what the scene was about Here's the MIC Sonoma, that Yoda dough, the famous right there, RA, Joe Musso. And check that out. Is that Charles? Yo, Q ball. Is that Charles? I can't tell, but look at all the lower level logos. That had to have been a group photo, right? I'm trying to remember. Was there a group photo with all these guys? I can't remember. Pretty cool. And then you got the MIC ad over here and Godfather custom customs. Um, we saw the color ad on the inside. It seemed like they were, they were adding more color photos or pages rather, but um, yeah. So there you have it. You got mini truck and magazine and this was 
issue 91. Again, latest craze, they're, they're uh, one of one covers. Uh, Nietzsche Wheels, uh, this is number two of six. You got Clint uh, and Courtney shot it. Dogwood was the title that you guys saw, Donnie Babb. We did see, I think this is one of the features where they don't mention, they don't always mention the year of the truck in the feature. So you got to look at the table of contents. And believe it or not, some of them didn't even mention it either way. So in my database, I sometimes have a blank, like a question mark on, hey, what year truck was it? This one I know in the table of contents mentioned 93. But July 99 cover, issue 91. We're getting close to 100. I can't believe it. Thank you guys uh, that have rocked with us since the beginning or have went back and watched them. Uh, we really appreciate that. Uh, we'll continue to, to get these out. And uh, please tap the bell notification. That way, when I put out the other videos, you guys will be notified. Uh, you'll get that notification on your phone so you can watch it and you can support us. And I really appreciate it. Uh, stay on the rise, y'all. And shout out to Donnie Babb. One hell of a truck, brother. We at ya. Peace.